Thank you, Peter, and welcome to the School of Wizardry and Road Genealogy. Uh, if you'd like to know more, you might have to go and see our uh, YouTube channel. One of the major drivers behind the production of these types of video podcasts was student feedback um, following module evaluations. As, this, as these are work-based modules, the students found that being away from the university environment, um, and also in some cases being away from each other, things could get a little bit lonely while they were out on their work-based placements. Students also found as well that there was a, a lack of learning materials and also a lack of direction um, within these, uh, within these work-based placements. So with this in mind, the module teams got together and decided to alter the support that was given to these students whilst they were away from the university setting. Now it had been noted that in other modules delivered previously, students were given some contact with lecturers and these were usually in the form of an audio podcast, but also through an iPad app called Explain Everything, which let lecturers um, deliver some learning materials um, quite didactically, but it, it did allow the delivery of some learning materials. What it didn't allow was face-to-face -face contact, um, which module teams felt were, were missing. And as these um, audio podcasts and kind of more presentation-y based um, video type podcasts evaluated really well, it was felt that these should be moved into these other work-based learning modules. Now, supporting work-based learners can be problematic, um, particularly where there are competencies and experiential learning outcomes um, that need to be gained. Again, this ties in with the lack of direction that the students felt while they were out on clinical placement. There's also a change in the role of the academic. Um, it becomes less didactic and more facilitative, um, guiding the students perhaps towards experiences that can contribute towards these experiential learnings. Within the literature it's also been proposed that podcasts can come in a number, sorry video podcasts can come in a number of different guises. Now these can be um, again quite didactic in nature where the student is a little bit more of a passive viewer um, but they can also be seen as problem solving as well so this would entail things like information exchange uh, and this will be followed by some sort of working, some sort of problem that the students had to solve. Now it was felt by the module team that a combination of the two of these could be utilised um, within these particular modules. So the videos initially um, began as a touch and base type um, podcast, letting the students know that you were still available to them. Our students took these work -based placements over the summer period, so it can be seen that there's a lot of academics on um, annual leave and things like that. So it was letting them know that you were still around, still available to be contacted. Um, also, um, they were used to remind the students of um, if an academic was on call for a particular length of time, how they could be contacted and those sorts of things as well. Another use of them, um, particularly with those uh, students who were on the um, on the way to sort of graduation at the end of at the end of the work based placement was a little bit of sharing of experiences as well. Students had to undertake things like night shifts and things like that. So the academics can share their experiences, perhaps of their first night shift and those sorts of things to try and connect um, with the students as well. So the podcasts, particularly in one of the modules, grew very, very quickly uh, as down to Peter's um, enthusiasm in some respects. Uh, video podcasts became quite thematic. Themes include things such as Breaking Bad and the Crystal Maze. Uh, some of the themes spilled over into both of the modules. Um, things like the University Challenge being one such thing, where the quiz was adapted um, for each for each of the modules, depending obviously on the on the learning outcomes of those modules. Uh, Quizzes were a theme as well, so things such as blockbusters, deal or no deal, were utilised within the modules as well. Um, also what happened was that um, Peter started to receive requests from students as to what other themes that they would like um, to be covered, which is why 
I'm sat here now in the School of Wizardry and Royal Genealogy because Peter received a Harry Potter request. Um, I'm going to hand you back over to Peter now and Peter is going to talk about how he created such things of beauty as what's behind me. So back to you Peter. <laughs> 